chatting with uh, Congressman Greg Pence this morning during AM Columbus. Congressman, uh, give me a little update on some additional federal money for infrastructure improvement of I-70. That's kind of important for us in this area. Yeah, thanks, John. Thanks for having me. I'm calling from Washington, D.C. I'm out here. Uh, we're going to have three weeks in a row here where we're considering some bills. But the good news is uh, we got $500,000 in a federal grant for uh, First Christian Church. Uh, back last year in December, December 2019, I wrote a letter in support asking for some funds to, to help that uh, do some repairs in that church. It's a, it's a landmark, and of course, for the Athens of the Prairie architectural wonder of the United States, so I'm real proud that we were able to get that money and, and help that church out. Uh, some more, some other money that we got for Columbus, Indiana, we got a uh, uh, Columbus Municipal Airport grant. Uh, it's an airport improvement program, almost $3 million for improvements there uh, to include perimeter fencing, uh, believe it or not, that was a big issue to them. They they have uh, animals run across the runway as uh, both military and private planes fly into what I what I can what I still call the college. Just can't help it because I grew up there uh, real close to it uh, when I was little. But so I'm real honored and proud to get that. But also. We uh, helped get, along with the delegation from Indiana, $28 million uh, for federal funding. It's called a substance abuse and mental health service um, uh, uh, administration dollars. Uh, that's a two-year grant to fight the opioid crisis throughout Indiana, which, you know, that's that's something we never, we never need to stop doing, and we need to just keep doing that for the folks. Uh, that, that have trouble with substance abuse. So yeah, those three three of them that I'm real proud were you know that's that's the work we do in our constituent services out in, out here in Washington D.C. You know that money for the opioid crisis uh, that was something we were going full bore on here, and then COVID showed up, and I think maybe some folks kind of forgot about it, but it did not go away. No, and if uh, you know, I have talked to some. Um, County health officials and you know CEOs of hospitals during this COVID crisis, John, and and it's maybe even picked up a little bit. You know, as people have been uh, impacted economically, um, uh, sheltered in place, uh, it's been very difficult for some folks' mental health, and and they've resorted back to maybe some of their old habits. So you know, I think we're we're called uh, by the good Lord to take care of those folks as best we can, and so. We need to keep our eye on those people. Talking with Congressman Greg Pence this morning about uh, things of import in, in our area. You're back in D.C. and uh, uh, sticking uh, sticking close to your pledge of being there where the business is being conducted. And uh, uh, give me a quick update, too, on the police pledge. You were involved in that, were you not? Yeah, thanks, John. And, you know, we had uh, the rally uh, a couple Saturdays ago in Columbus, Indiana. There's been rallies all over the place, but I... I took a police pledge that a lot of national uh, uh, congressional folks got involved in, and, and if I can read kind of the final part of that pledge, I stand with American police and pledge to oppose any bill, resolution, or movement to defund the police. You know, John, I've, I've spoken on the floor about that a couple of times. Uh, you know, I, that's just not something uh, I'm ever going to support. It's, it, it was a ridiculous conversation, in my opinion, to talk about something like that. So I was honored uh, to participate in that pledge with my fellow uh, Republican congressmen. Talking with uh, Congressman Greg Pence this morning. Congressman, if folks in the 6th District need some assistance or they have some questions, how do they hook up with you? Yeah, thanks, John. So, you know, reach out to us, uh, pence.house.gov. Uh, any questions you have or anything you need, whether it's Social Security, veterans issues, uh, believe it or not, passports are kind of an issue for a lot of folks. And anytime you deal with the federal government, pence.house.gov, and we have emails and phones. And, of course, there in Columbus, we're on First Street, uh, open between uh, 9 and 5 every day. Talking with uh, Congressman Greg Pence from our area. Congressman, appreciate your time this morning. Have a great week. Okay, same to you. Thanks, John.